Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Thanks for stopping by the channel once again. It's been a little while since I posted, but if you saw my short last week, you kind of know this one was coming. Uh, this is going to be the solar solar heat pump install video, the EG4 solar heat pump. So I just got this in. It was shipped up from Texas. Kind of lucked out on it. And I got a good deal. It was on sale. Um, played the flat rate shipping. That was part of the sale. And then it got across the border with no import fees. Kind of got lucky at the border too. So um, it's kind of your average inverter heat pump looks very similar to a lot of other ones, but it can run directly on solar panels. You can attach up to 1700 Watts of solar. And as long as the sun's out, it can run directly off solar. No need for inverters, batteries, anything like that. So kind of combines my two interests or hobbies, solar and HVAC. So I uh, hope you like the video. Um, this is kind of a rebrand. It looks like, I don't think it's specific to EG4. I've seen these for sale online, um, sold under a different name called Dye, D-E-Y-E. So, uh, the EG4 was actually the best price and it had the heating feature too. A lot of them are just AC. So this is where I'm going to put the unit. The high wall is going to go just inside the wall there, line set down the side of the house and the outdoor unit will sit here. I've got a set of brackets. I was going to use a stand, but I think I'm going to go with brackets. Uh, hopefully that doesn't vibrate the deck too much. I don't think it will. So I'm going to grab the brackets and get started. I probably won't show too much of that. You guys know how to install a set of brackets. So here we go. All right, brackets are mounted. Uh, I got to do the bolts on this side. They go through the deck. So I got to put the nuts on the back side. These ones I lag bolted right into this six by six post. So they are nice and solid, not going anywhere. Um, like I said, I don't think this is going to be an issue. Inverter heat pumps are pretty quiet. They don't make a lot of noise. I don't think it's going to vibrate the deck too much. So I'm going to mount it here kind of flush with the wall and then probably chop these brackets off just so it's not a you know hazard for my shins. This is where I take the lawnmower through. Well, I had to drill out a couple of rusted out screws to get this deck board off. But as you can see, I have the brackets all bolted up uh, nice and solid. So I'm going to get the bandsaw out and give those guys a chop so nobody takes their shins off. Okay, brackets are cut. Um, supervisor's watching, I can't talk too long here. Uh, brackets are cut, everything is kind of nice and tucked flush with the wall, so nobody's gonna take their shins off walking by. I'm gonna grab the grinder and kind of touch up those edges, take off the burrs, make sure everything's cleaned up, and then hit them with a bit of paint so they don't rust. Um, yeah, so far pretty straightforward, units bolted down. I'm gonna get started on the indoor unit, get it mounted up, do the line set, and uh, we'll go from there. So this is the indoor unit. If you are familiar with ductless splits, uh, this is pretty standard. They all kind of look the same. This is the line set, the drain, and the communication wire all kind of bundled up. So we're going to bust a hole in the wall and pass that out through the hole and then hook this onto the bracket that I've mounted on the wall. This is the indoor unit all mounted. Uh, I knocked over the tripod and didn't get the shot. So that's the indoor, that's the outdoor. Now we just need to do the line set in between. That's where the solar panels are going to go. I have two of them up there right now, and I'm going to be adding four more. If you're ever installing one of these DIY kits, it's always a good idea to check out the flares before you install them. This one had a pretty good burr right on the seat of the flare, so I've cleaned that up a little bit. It doesn't look too bad now, but it's always worth checking. Um, the line set is also 15 feet, which is not going to be long enough for the spot I want to mount it. So I've cut the line set kind of in the middle. I'm going to be adding some copper in just so I can use the flares and make it go where I want to. Okay, I'm getting ready to braze in the new copper here. Uh, like I said, this is a 15 foot line set. So I thought it was going to be close to long enough uh, with the unit where I wanted it, but it's not. I have to add about six, seven feet of copper. So this is where things kind of go beyond the DIY homeowner install. If you had like a Mr. Cool unit, I think the line sets are a little bit longer. You always see them coiled up behind the unit. But if you're going to put in this unit, just be aware 15 feet is all you get. Um, there's actually another issue with the wiring. I'll get to that later, but just getting ready to flow some nitrogen while we braise. You definitely want to do that to keep uh, the inside of the copper nice and clean. And uh, yeah, it'll work out in the end, but it's an extra step. All right, we've got the line set brazed up. Uh, I'm pulling it into a vacuum now. Everything is, uh, well, halfway complete. Line set's all done. It's bent kind of the way I want it. I've got some line set cover I'm going to be installing. I'm sorry this video is kind of jumping all over the place. Um, this is actually a couple days later. I got sick in the middle of the install. We've had some kind of bad weather. So, um, yeah, the video is kind of all over the place. I apologize for that. But 
going to install the line set cover and get this cleaned up. As you can see, my communication wire is uh, also too short. I've kind of got it running right across the wall here. They only give you 13 feet of wire, which is kind of ridiculous when you get a 15 foot line set. I don't know why that, that doesn't really make sense to me. So uh, I've got some more wire coming. I'm gonna get a longer wire and just do a nice one piece wire. So there's no breaks anywhere in the line set covered up by the cover. But again, another thing to be aware of, you only have 13 feet of cable to make the indoor unit communicate with the outdoor unit. Well, that's pretty much going to do it for this video. I've got the line set cover basically all done. I just have to wait on that wire to come in and then I can get everything buttoned up. Uh, I have been using the heat pump for a few days so far. I've been pretty pleased with how things are working. So keep an eye out very soon for an update video. I'm going to do some performance kind of reviews on this thing. And uh, if you have any questions about this unit, leave in the comments. I'd be happy to answer it. And uh, you'll see another video on this very soon.